Hello and welcome back dear friends, it's me Odo. I'm back in my campaign of, e of uh, Pathfinder Kingmaker and in this episode we will do two small uh, side quests, one with Lindsay and one with Jaffel. And now we start the Lindsay quest. I know about this already. Lindsay shuffles around nervously, fidgeting with a quill in her hands. She turns bright red. Well, about the embezzlement, I mean, um, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm lawful evil. I wouldn't say something like that. Yeah, let's, let's go with this. I can take a single coin for myself. I please let me explain. Okay. You see, I've always dreamed of owning my own printing house. I could print whatever book I want. And then I found out there was a printing press being sold for cheap as a boy, and well I just couldn't resist. Um Yeah, well, normally a, a lawful evil character would say this, but I really don't want to. I mean, this is stupid, uh, because we don't want to alienate her. And I think the printing press helps us in some way. Mm. Let, let's take this one. There is one other problem, though. Of course, there is. The press should have been delivered by now, but it hasn't shown up. I'm afraid that with our roads and the seeming menagerie that roams them, it might end up vanishing into thin air. Can we maybe go check on it? See if anything's happened. Was supposed to be coming across the old road through the Nile marches. How can it come through the old road from the Nile marches? And Brevon is in the north of us, and not, and the old road is in the south of us. Hmm. What? Not a chance. Go out and salvage it. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. That's that. We've got the quest. So let's exit. Let's take yeah, we'll we'll have to take Chaffel with us and we'll take Lindsay with us because we do both of them. We probably also I mean we don't have let's first of all take Valerie, then let's take Rayongla because he still needs to get an update and these two and the ranger or the priest yeah well the priest of course except ah oh, and yeah well risk quest is also there but we would have to have talked to Valerie first. I forgot about that. Yeah, we can do this later on. Pretty sure about that. The paladins can win. So, uh, Jaffel's quest is in the old sycamore tree. Let's move there first. Just have to. Then we'll go back to the. Uh, to the capital, talk to Valerie, and um, go to the Null Marches to do the quest for um, Lindsay. Most of the time, it is taken for uh, these this waiting in the loading screen. When I was young, 
um, and had a very old computer. The loading screens were even even longer than here. Okay, there is somewhere around there must be a ball. Like I don't know. So let's just move north and hope we'll find it. Mm -hmm. There was a campfire. Did they say where it is? I mean, this is a really large map. Let's see. What does the journal say? Um, not touched. Oh. That's the delete my death. Blah 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 blah. Uh, found, uh, that was carcass near the old wall. Hmm. Okay. Doesn't specify where it is. Oh, there it is. I'll prejudice the board's carcass. Make some ex um, examining the ground around it. See, there should be a pool of blood, but it's not here. It seems the beast came from somewhere else, already wounded, and then died here. But I can't. The direction. The ground is rocky. It would take a troll to leave footprints here. Careful inspect the wounds of the on the boar's neck. The cuts are distinctive, like the kind my dagger would make. It has a few deep deep serrations on one side of the blade, so it wounds like a sawtooth weapon on that side. So far, everything's, everything backs up the half elf story. How can we find the one who stabbed the boar? Hmm. There's not much blood around the wound. It looks like it was inflicted once the blood had already curdled. Oh, interesting. That's cute. As for the wound, it's all very strange. So it was stabbed after it was dead. <clears throat> Carcass might help that. We'll learn something new. Plus, oh, yeah, why not? Yay! We got experience for a successful check. Uh, Jaffel nods and slowly unpacks the tools and and one needs for such work. Together you bend over the carcass of the wild boar. No, not we. Uh, Tristan did this. The first dissection doesn't provide any details until you note small water plants in the boar's stomach. They're all stuffed with muzzle. It seems that the beast was near water recently. Otherwise, the duck weed in its stomach would already be digested. The nearest source of water is the torn river, and plants like that grow along its backwaters. Let's go there and search for the boar. Jaffel suddenly smiles with the corner of her mouth. She does it in a strange, almost convulsive manner, as her face had long ago forgotten. How amusing. Look for evidence to see connections between events. As far 
as before during my service in Kionin. However, this is the first time I've played the victim. Well, you see, it's a trap. I mean, obviously, the ball wasn't killed here. It was brought from there. So they want you. Uh, it doesn't matter. I forgot to upgrade Regongar. Let's do this. Right now, the level up works fine with me because I normally take the same as before. So let's take the Magus and we get Arcane Medium Armor. Seventh level, Marcus gains proficiency with Medium Armor. Nice. This is really strong. I mean, the Amagos is a really strong damage dealer. The spell magic is whatever. Every two levels thereafter, Sorcerer learns an additional spell derived from her bloodline. This spell, in addition to the number of spells given in her, however. And we got a field. Next. But we only get three skill points so here, here. and let's take a jockey so we can at least um greater elemental focus oh just interesting yeah that's good uh, my um, lightning spells are even stronger. We get a level 1 spell. Let's see. You've got any lightning spells? No. Then. <sighs> Probably. That's an interesting spell. Oh, lightning bolt, of course. We'll take the lightning bolt. Mm-hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Displacement fireball. No, no, no fireball. Empiric touch, probably, because this is a touch attack. We can do this. Yep. Touch attacks are good because we attack the um, enemies with touch attack via our weapon. This is one of the specialities of the Magus. Okay, so that's that. Let's move out here. Nah, that's down <laughs> to the game. We'll have to move some. Mm, yeah, let's take this away from us. Mm. 
Yesus. So Torn River, this is, I think, west in the western direction. Yeah. Okay, this is very near, so it's okay. Let's enter this place. <laughs> Whoa. Mushrooms. There are some pores. Some dead pool. Let's see. Just seeing. Mm. Just do this. You cannot stand against me. So, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> No, it is. Mm -hmm. I'm probably too tired right now. So this will be the last fight, or probably will be this. Really? Yeah, do that. But do it fast. Okay, you... Go here and cast Bleed Spell. Just because it's fun. Hmm. <laughs> 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 
Okay, also 20 minutes are over. Um, yep, yeah, that's the dead war. Okay. Let's get the mushrooms. Ooh, what's that? Interesting. Potion shield. And... There's a trap. Lindsay. Deep. Yep. Okay, Lindsay. Do your best. And another trap. Yeah, we won't absorb you. Let's take it. Okay. There's an X. There are people. Let's move there. No, that's her. She found us. Monster. We knew that you would always first for the one. Yeah. Okay. So we should have come here without Chaffel. Let's sing. Let's sing whole thing. Hmm. Alchemist. Let's try it with him first. Or oh, probably not. <sighs> oh, come on. Do you really have to attack my Gonga? He's such a nice guy. So, how about we try this? Nice um, vampiric touch that we have. Or probably we don't because we didn't fridge it attack. Yeah, let's take the shopping glass then. Rogue, fighter. I hate rogues. Come on. Really? Do you think so? Um, So 
So, okay, you will do a nice ball like here. Okay, um, how about, how about pay? Yeah, and you're dead. Stupid. That's because you didn't let Valerie first. That's the Hmm. Well, the whole person did work. Okay. Whom did you hit with the hideous laughter? Um, <laughs> Valerie, of course. I mean, it would be easy if it wasn't Valerie. Hmm. Okay, let's do a scorching ray on the stupid sorcerer. That's the He did the saving throw. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm Shuffle freezes in front of the dead elven girl. It's hard to read anything on the Inquisitor. The posture suggests tension, the moving force of a tightly stretched string. What a lovely child, if she looks so like my Nortellara. Even death could not twist her beauty. With a blank look in her eyes, Jaffel passes her hand above the girl's body, feeling on an, of an oppressive force. The cold and painful becomes nearly physical. The halogen passes through the body of the dead elven girl. With a quiet moan, turning into a cry, the corpse opens her eyes and, and rises. Jaffel looked at her in amazement, as if she surprised, as if she surprised by what she has done. And making the dead? I had no idea you could do that. Of course we had an idea that you could do that. Never knew of this side of my power. Something has awakened in me. The ability to share Urgatoa's gift. Child, it's not this newly created undead with the book of the 
contemplating her creation. Withering under his stare, the undead girl begins to tremble. What have you done to me? What is this? I saved you from oblivion. You and all your beauty, foolish child. Now you bear Urgator's gift just as I. You are undead. I prefer the word used by uncomprehending narrow minds. No, no, it's better. Follow my friend into death and become a disgusting undead creature. An unnaturally strong convulsion shakes the girl's body. She stares at you. I beg you for mercy. She doesn't have a heart, but you're different. You still live. Let me die. Get me out of my misery. Why did you attack us? Why the eyes of the Elven girl are filled with confusion. We only meant to protect ourselves. The wanderer warned us that this monster was chasing us. The elf points us at the icy calm chapel. He told us that she sought new sacrifices. Everyone Yonin knows that she killed elves for the sake of her damned goddess. And so she managed to get away with it, walked freely into exile. If we had known that she would track us down, we would never have left the forests of our homeland. We knew him as Wanderer, but it's only a nickname. I do not know what his true name is. He's a half-elf. My friends knew him. They said that he has a wanderer's soul him from one place to another. I've seen him a couple of times in Kionin, and recently I've seen him on the road. He caught up with us to warn us of the danger. I will not harm her, and I will not let her harm herself. She's frightened and does not understand the gift she is. She just received. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Immortality, and so on and so on. I hope, Chaffel, that you feel sorry for the senseless death of this unfortunate girl. Wish to help her in your way. And you're not just entertaining yourself, as you usually do. Mm. Yeah, no sharp awkward. Mm. Okay, wonderful. I shall send her to the capital and find some useful task for her. That great. I do not know who to believe this story. Did the merchant deceive us, or is this girl lying? So far, it all points to one thing: the half blood lied to us. He did not merely lie. It was he who killed me in the wastelands? He took the dagger and planted it in the stone shop for me to find. Scared the elves with his lies and intentionally sent us here. Yeah, well, take this. Okay, that's that. Let's connect everything. And I will do this while you 
or whatever in between episodes. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye.